Wilder and the iPhone got Nashville talking. Joining us now is News 2's Brittany Gilbert with more. President Bush's plan for troop escalation in Iraq is high on the radar, with a lot of area riders skeptical about the proposed surge. Blogger Sharon Cobb says, We the people have spoken and we the people have said no to sending more troops. However, Lindsay of the Theology and Geometry blog thought the president's speech was just fine. She says, while Democrats may, have, may protest and say, well, this is just unacceptable, I've not heard any substantial plans coming from them. And at the local level, the ouster of Senate Speaker John Wilder was a very hot topic, with most writers focusing on Democratic Senator Rosalind Corita's breaking of ranks. And Think Train's Rob Robinson was pleased about that. He says, voting against her party, regardless of other political implications, was the right thing to do. And Anne, who writes The Stupid Stuff I Witness, notes that there may have been ulterior motives. She says, I'm sure she didn't depart from the script without some winning enticements. And Joe Lance of the blog Tennessee Ticket just might be right when he says that he thinks Corita is well on its way to becoming a verb. On the technical front, Apple's announcement of the iPhone sent technology followers into a frenzy. Catherine Coble, who writes Just Another Pretty Far, says... Every year, the Macworld keynote really tests my Tenth Commandment stamina because I always come away coveting something. And the blogger at Creative Liberty, who's been following the evolution of smartphones, says, So that trio thing I mentioned earlier this week, it's two cans and a string compared to the iPhone. Apple's newest, coolest gadget will hit stores in June. I'm Brittany Gilbert, and that's what Nashville is talking about. And you can join in on the conversations with local residents by logging on to NashvilleIsTalking.com.